quick but important piece of content on strange habits of millionaires and billionaires. I'm going to share three strange habits of millionaires and billionaires that are contrarian to the masses. Uncommon sense. But if you think about it, it's kind of common because if their results are uncommon, then they need uncommon sense. So three strange habits of millionaires and billionaires. I've got an announcement first. I'll be covering curiosity, goal realism and leverage. I've actually researched for nearly 15 years, hundreds of billionaires. I've interviewed 15. I've got another one coming soon, my first Russian billionaire. That'll be 16. I wrote the UK's best-selling book on money a few years ago called Money. And I also have a podcast called Money with nearly 200 episodes. So I've done a load of research on this. And all the general stuff like work hard and go to the gym and, you know, whatever. It, it's actually not really technically accurate. So I'm going to share three of 18 uh, realistic, strange, contrarian habits of millionaires and billionaires. Uh, before I do that, though, a special announcement. Um, I believe to be the UK's first person to be running an audio room on Facebook. So my Facebook account manager announced to me last week that the audio room feature on Facebook will be rolled out in the UK in the next few days, but only for verified accounts. And they'll obviously start with some before they roll it out to all. And I am I'm grateful and one of the very few selected to be able to run audio rooms on Facebook. And an audio room on Facebook, you'll see at the top of your feed, um, is like Clubhouse, really, is Facebook's attempt at crushing Clubhouse. Clubhouse, I will eat you. You little biatch, I will eat you. So um, I'm going to be running uh, very uh, soon, in a few days' time, um, a brand new audio room on the 18 uncommon habits of millionaires and billionaires. Let me put the link in the comments for you. For, let me just write it in before I get first ever... Audio room live. I'm just putting the link in the comments for you now so that you can uh, register for that. It costs you nothing. It's on Facebook. It's content in audio format, just like Clubhouse. Anyway, I'll come back to that because I want to share with you the um, three strange habits of millionaires and billionaires. Uh, before I do, actually, thank you so much, uh, Anthony and John Paul for the stars. Your legends. Mwah, and I love you. So, strange habit, number one of millionaires and billionaires, and I suppose you could change strange to contrarian, is curiosity. Because I think a lot of people assume that successful people know shit. They've done shit. They got given shit. They were born into shit. Shit equals success. But in reality, they don't think they know everything. They think they can learn from most people. Um, and I believe if you're courageous enough to ask the stupidest question in the room, you're probably the smartest question uh, person in the room. Let me say that again. If you are prepared to be stupid enough or perceived to be asking the stupidest questions in the room, you're probably the smartest person in the room. So I've interviewed billionaires who've really commandeered the interview and started asking me a loads of questions and almost like reversing the interview onto me. I'm sitting here thinking, well, you're the billionaire. You know more than me because you're a billionaire, That yet you're humble enough to ask me a load of questions because you know you can learn something from me. So, look, you know, there are, of course, exceptions to the rule where maybe you've got greedy or powerful billionaires who, you know, think they know it all. I've not met any of those, though. I've met, um, what, 15, 16 billionaires, hundreds of millionaires, and they've all been very curious, very inquisitive, their beginner's mindset, ability to be a student, humbleize themselves to learn from everyone. And that's a contrarian and strange habit of millionaires and billionaires because people assume the complete opposite. But remember, if you want uncommon results and being a millionaire and a billionaire is uncommon, then you need to employ uncommon sense. OK, so the second one then um, is goal realism. So this is something that I've got. That phrase is something I've actually created myself. Uh, and maybe I should do more content on that. But um, I think people who aren't successful but want to be, who are dreamers, they set a goal as a fantasy. People who don't set any goals and who are grafters but never really get there is because they've not got any vision bigger than where they're already at. 
So you need to be a visionary enough to create a goal in the future that hasn't been created yet, which essentially is a fantasy. Um, And then you have to go into reality mode uh, and understand what it takes to achieve a dream or a vision. Because a dream without a goal or a plan is just a fantasy. But no specific goal or plan is nothing's going to happen. So goal realism is where you set goals and you set a fantasy, but then you do the work required, the lessons required, you go to each new level required, you challenge yourself necessarily in the pursuit of that goal and you don't give up till you get there and you accept the challenges that come along the way and you don't just think that it's easy and an illusion. So goal realism is the strange and contrarian trait I've seen of millionaires and billionaires, not goal fantasy, because most goals are just a fantasy. Oh, I'm going to have a Ferrari. Oh, I'm going to be a billionaire. What the fuck are you going to do about it? What consistent action are you going to take every day? What challenges are you going to endure? You know, what are you prepared to sacrifice? Do you understand what the cost is of that? This is goal realism. And then the third thing is leverage. So common sense says, you know, that really successful people work hard or self-made people are self-made or that they got given an inheritance or, or, or whatever, or it was easy for them or they were born into wealth and success. When in reality... Actual success relies on building a team, leveraging bank finance, leveraging assets, leveraging media, leveraging social media. So actually, no man is an island, no millionaire is self-made. Everybody who's successful has implemented leverage, outsource, systems, processes, people, um, and they build a team. And at the start, it's a team of them and an outsourcer or a VA. And then it's their first member of staff, and then their 10th, and then their 50th. I'm currently leveraging social media, doing a live on Facebook so I can reach more people. So um, no Madison Island, no millionaire was created alone. There's no such thing as self-made. And leverage can be across the board. Software, systems, social media, people, process, partnerships, collaborations, you name it. So quick summary then. The uh, three of 18 habits I know, strange contrarian habits of millionaires and billionaires, our curiosity rather than actually, you know, bravado of knowledge and experience. That's counterintuitive to many. Goal realism, which is, yes, setting a fantasy, but understanding it's a fantasy and not doing what it takes to get there, which is hardcore cold reality. Uh, and then three is leverage. No man is an island. No millionaire is self-made. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments. Give me some feedback. I'm doing lots of content on money, but I'm also doing lots of content on stuff that happens in the media related to money, tax hikes bank holiday editions and four-day work weeks and pandemics and all sorts. Let me know what kind of content of mine you like. Do you like the live video content like this? Do you like the short two-line quotes? Do you like the more personal stuff like I wrote about the, the, the inner child in me? Just keep giving me feedback on what content you like from me and I'll keep doing more of it. And remember, and this is really important and the link is in the comments, in a few days time I'm doing the UK's probably first ever audio room where I'm detailing the 18 strange, um, unconventional, uncommon sense traits of millionaires and billionaires. So it'll be a 60 to 90 minute audio room, brand new on Facebook to Challenge Clubhouse. Um, I've all, I, I literally just scheduled it a few minutes ago and I've already got um, nearly 100 people joined or interested. So it's probably going to be quite a big one. I'm not promoting it out to my entire community in case there's a few teething problems because it's the first one. There will be no recordings because I don't believe you can record an audio room anyway. So if you'd love to learn the, con- con- the contrarian and strange, actual, detailed research over 15 years, traits of millionaires and billionaires and not just the generic ones, work hard, hustle grind. But if you'd like to learn the actual specific technical ones, 60 to 90 minutes with me, Q&A sessions, maybe I'll bring you up on the stage, maybe do a few funky things for supporters. I've put a link in the comments um, to join the audio room. It's completely free. It's on Facebook anyway. So all you have to do is just register here while you're on Facebook. And uh, hey, look, it's cool to have a new tool. I was one of the first in the world to get the supporters tool. I was one of the first 20 in the world to get the stars feature of which John Paul and Anthony have kindly donated stars to me. And I might be the first, definitely one of the first few. I've never seen anyone in the UK run an audio room. I've only seen Gary V, Jay Shetty and Damon John run audio rooms in the world because it's a brand new feature. So you can register for free and see one for yourself or real for first. And I've picked a piece of content I think is really valuable to us all. Of course, only if you want to make money. If you fucking hate life and you fucking hate money and you fucking hate people with money, you don't want to be on this. 
But 18 unconventional, contrarian and strange habits of millionaires and billionaires through 15 years of research and not just general claptrap recycled verbiage, but specific researched content from interviewing hundreds and meeting hundreds of millionaires and billionaires. So the link is in the comments. I see it in the audio room. Give me any feedback on the kind of content you want from me. And one final thing, please hit the share button. Hit it right now. If you thought any of this content was useful, if you thought my more thorough contrarian analysis of um, millionaires and billionaires was useful and not the usual fluff you hear, hit the share button. Let's get the message out to the masses because I feel like there's not enough money, um, education and knowledge. I feel like there's a lot of um, really deep rooted negative beliefs around money and people who've got money. There's a big hate for the rich. And I think we need to change that. And we all have a right to be wealthy and we all have the ability to be wealthy. But, um, you know, we need to learn the strategies and tactics, the mindsets and the skill sets to be so. And that's my mission for the rest of my life. The next 55 years is to change the world and teach the world how to have better money beliefs, to create wealth, to share wealth, to inspire others to wealth. Wealth is not just money. Wealth is well-being as well. So please hit the share button. It, you know, if you um, think that that's a worthy mission and you'd like to help get the message out there too and help as many people as possible. So I'll see you on the audio room, 18 habits of self-made millionaires and billionaires. But remember, there's no such thing as self-made. So I'll talk about that too. Cheers. Love you all. See you soon. Ah, remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Hit the share button. Why are you still there? Why are you not hitting the share button? I'm watching you. I know if you hit the share button, because I can see.